Hey guys, so what I'm doing today as um, one of my uh, first things here for 30 days of concealment.com is I don't even have my gun yet <laughs> uh, because I am putting away a little money for it. But right now, the first thing I'm doing is a way to secure the gun and keep it um, you know available, readily available. This is basically a pistol box, a security box that you can um, secure to a stud or to drill into a concrete floor. <clears throat> and I heard about it um, on Amazon. It's got really good reviews. It's actually super cheap. It's $42. Um, let's go ahead and do an unboxing here. What it is is a uh, Home Act Quick Access Pistol Security Box. And I don't know if there is a uh, um, an exact name, but uh, let's take a look at it here. Uh, I actually ordered this on Amazon. It was $42. If you have what's called Amazon Prime, then you can get it for um, free shipping, free two-day shipping, which I highly recommend. So here it is. Um, it does have some some weight to it. Obviously, this is good. Uh, again, this is not a safe. Um, it is not a. Um, it's not fireproof, anything like that. Um, it is just meant as a. a Way to quick access, uh, maybe some valuables and maybe uh, a couple guns, handguns. Um, first thing I notice here is that, like I said, along with the the weight of it, <coughs> um, you have this flap here. Um, again, it says HOMAC side here. This is the the gate, and um, this is the default code. It's kind of weird. It has uh, like a little marketing here. This is the H O M A K, and it has like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero. So you kind of enter your code in here. This is an emergency backup for a, uh, a battery. Um, it takes four uh, AA batteries in there. It says caution: Do not use metal materials to press the programming button. Use only plastic. There's a button inside of here that you can press to um, to basically reset the code. Um, Notice when you get it, it has this little latch just to protect it from closing before you put the batteries in. Um, these are just the holes to, uh, to drill it in there. Um, if you're putting it in a stud, I don't know why um, most studs being 16 inch on center. I'm not sure how this is going to mount. I may just mount it at the floor. I'm not sure yet. But let's uh, get some batteries for it. I'm gonna get some and let's go ahead and try this bad boy and see how it works. Okay. Also comes with this felt little key thing for moving around. Okay. I have not done this before, so I don't know how this is gonna work. Before, but that's okay. Let's try that again. Actually, Velcro is in there. It's a lot easier. That's why. And okay, so there's this little four-way thing here, and it's like a nine-volt attachment here, which is kind of odd. Okay, so that attaches there. Um, also notice these little pegs here. This is you could actually take a nine volt battery and kind of just jump it basically and give it. Um, if these batteries ever ran out, but that's four batteries for a panel. It's pretty freaking small. So <clears throat> K M H A O. Let's try 
try this. K-M-H-A-O. Ready for it? Okay, come on now. K M H A O. Oh, there we go. Oh, there's a little spring. Okay. Oh, you just push in. K M H A O. I missed one, maybe. K M. Okay. K M H A O. There we go. Pull out your pistola there. And then that's the locking sign. This is actually pretty cool. <clears throat> I mean, 42 bucks. If you want a safe, <laughs> don't buy this. If you want a strong box that does give you, uh, you know, pretty pretty fast access, and um, you know, at basically at super rock bottom cheap price, I think this is probably going to be the thing for you. They do have some um, basically wood screws attached to it. Um, again. Your, uh, your pistol there. Cool. Um, overall, I, I pretty much highly going to recommend this thing. Again, it's a $42 lockbox um, that doesn't require a key, so you don't have to fumble around for a key. <clears throat> Some people actually mentioned that sometimes it's better to have a key um, just because it's, a, it's something that you can unlock it in case you forget the code or the battery runs out. But I think they've done a pretty good job on giving you an alternate way of having a 9 volt there. And honestly, for one keypad, having this many batteries. Uh, is honestly going to last, a, uh, in my opinion, a very long time. Um, also, some people on the Amazon reviews, which are all very favorable, mentioned to just, you know, <clears throat> keeping this code here because if the batteries ever do run out, it does revert back to its original code. Uh, I assume that to be true. Uh, or you can just pick whatever you want, but uh, I, um, I'm not sure what I'm going to do, but keep, keep that in mind. But overall, I think the, um, the reviews have been pretty, uh, pretty correct. Um, very good pistol box, mounting holes, um, and if you get it with uh, Amazon Prime, then you get it, get it in two days. So that's it. So hopefully um, I'll be putting my gun in here for my uh, project that I'm doing, getting my concealed, concealed carry permit. Um, I'm actually taking a class tomorrow, and we'll see how that goes. I'll see some more documentation. But uh, K-M-H-A-O. Bamo. I love it. All right. So there you go, guys. And you have a nice day.